It's a good morning from a chilly yet oddly charming uh, morning here in Paris. I am about to go meet up with a good, good, good friend of mine. And, uh, some of you guys may know her. And we are about to run around the city like a couple of tours. So uh, it should be a really, really fun day. And hopefully I can get some shopping in today. Don't you know? been a little while since I've been in a big city during the morning commute and coming through Paris this morning really reminded me just how much of a morning person I am and everybody else says it I'm really not sure why people are so angry in the morning you woke up I mean I don't know I just really like it too people here are aggressive and angry meaning it's like the old French ladies they'll knock you over so this is probably one of the easier words for you to find patisserie and this is where you're gonna get all your delicious uh, cakes and pies and cookies and stuff like that. <coughs> then a petit déjeuner. This a croissant, just some fruits, and whatever you want for a hot drink. Usually, like a coffee. And then you have all these smaller French cafes. bit of personal uh, history about this building I've actually never been here before I've been here six seven times over the years but I've never actually come to this building just never found the time um, the first time I actually saw this building was in an architecture class um, when I was in university so if you're studying a film which I minored in uh, you have to take photography courses uh, and when you take the photography courses part of the requirement is to take an architecture course uh, for obvious reasons and this building here always stood out as something not particularly Parisian to me. Uh, my my views and my ideas of what Parisian architecture was, or even European architecture was, was just steeped in medieval castles and cathedrals. But when I first saw this place, it, it just kind of spoke to me because of the lines, the modernity. Uh, it looks like it's made of PVC pipe. If you guys see here, like all of the, it looks like PVC pipe. Clearly, it's not it. It's just really always stood out to me, and. There's a really stunning image of this building from over here and I'm pretty sure somebody who probably lived in one of these buildings took it but man it's a beautiful building. Hopefully I can get the scale for you guys in this. Yeah. People always, uh, quick photography and videography tip, always have people because they provide scale. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's not too often that I get excited, super, super excited about something. I met politicians, I met celebrities, I met rock stars, but nobody compares to the Toronto born, New York living, Beyonce of travel, only good at travel. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey guys, so a uh, quick travel tip. Uh, in Paris, no matter where you where you go, if you're going to the Louvre, uh, Chantre de Pompidou, uh, Notre Dame, uh, it's very important that you realize that even in low season, it's going to be crowded no matter what. So look at this line. It goes all the way up, all the way right there. So, and this is something I've said on this vlog before about tour groups. Tour groups tend to get going around 10 or 11 o'clock. Now this place opens up at 11 o'clock. So unfortunately you can't really get here before the two groups, but if you do, you have to be here about 10, 10.30 at the latest to kind of get in line to kind of roll in, especially if you're not with a tour group. If you're going to some place like the Louvre, well, good luck, you're gonna be standing in line regardless. But a quick secret about the Louvre is that there are three entrances. Don't go into the pyramid entrance, go around, and I'll show you guys that a little bit later. Okay, this line is insane. So it starts all the way over there where you guys saw the uh, the guy earlier with all the pigeons. So it comes all the way over here. They walk this way. And then comes around this corner. Goes this way. And then comes here. And then comes here. 
comes down here. Now this is for the people who don't have tickets yet. But that is for the people in groups. So you might want to take a group tour. Architecture in Paris is always highly celebrated and a lot of people who've never been here really can't understand but the level of detail that they put into everything from the facades to just lampposts here is absolutely wonderful. And you got to remember the destruction that happened uh, during the war to Paris and to come here now and to see uh, the, the restoration of the city and the preservation that they've done here is absolutely wonderful. Uh, just a beautiful, beautiful city, just a stroll. And I think one of the best things about Paris is that you don't have to spend a ton of money just being here. You can just show up and walk around the city and just enjoy it. It's absolutely beautiful. This is what vloggers look like. Look at them. See, I didn't realize how crazy vloggers look talking to their cameras. Look at that. This is the first time I've seen a vlogger in person. Look at her. Look at her hands. Look at her hands. What you doing hey, sorry about that. I forgot to tell you. This is actually the city hall, and we're about to walk down to Notre Dame over here. Like a lunch, snack, and snack time. How happy are you to get a snack right now, Eric? He's really happy. That grunt, that's happy. I'm not a big sweets guy, but uh, if you are, Paris is the mecca of sweets. Amazing baked goods uh, at the patisserie uh, all, all over the city. You, know, you don't even have to, I can't even recommend one because they're all just so good. And this place is really, really good. And it's cheap. Like this costs uh, 150 euro. How much was yours? I didn't even buy this. This was just a sample. Oh, so Paris. <laughs> if you if you don't want to buy anything, if you're cheap, you can just go around to all the bakeries and get a sample because they have tons of them. Oh, and that's what I was talking about. The bees. The bees. Hey guys, welcome to Notre Dame. You probably know it from the hunchback of Notre Dame and Quasimodo who lived in a tower up there. But this now, in real life, is a very, very, very popular tourist destination uh, here in Paris. And something I wanted to speak on is that whenever you go to a place that is an active church or a place of worship, please, please, please be respectful. No flash photography, and if you can help it, don't take any photos at all. And never take pictures of people worshiping or praying. It's a little bit rude and disrespectful. Security here is tight. So the Latin Corner is a more of a, a, a older part of London, and the reason London. it's called excuse me, excuse me, I, oh my God, I cannot believe I'm vlogging with somebody right here where I can't just hit stop, take. She just corrects me. She's like a, a live YouTube comment section. But, <laughs> well, I, can't hear you. I say you're like a live YouTube comment section. Yeah, oh, where you, know, you make hey, a mistake? I'm just, <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure that you're coming correct I appreciate on it. these vlogs. So, you know? excuse me, the Latin Quarter of Paris is one of the older parts of Paris. And the reason it's called the Latin Quarter is because it was a student area and most of the students actually spoke Latin. So it's still called the Latin Quarter today, even though most, most students here are going to be speaking uh, English or French. And notice how tight the streets are here. How much tighter the streets are here as opposed to a lot of parts of London because this whole area is kind of, well, look at it. There she is. All right, 
I'm gonna mess with her while she's vlogging. Weirdo <laughs> is in my shots. <laughs> oh, check uh, these so out. We are going to Disney World. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Miles from Bonjour. 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 Oh. oh, it just started. And then, like, look how the drippings run down. The aju. Uh, it's better though. Oh, nice. Yeah. Check this out. There's a whole pig. Chicken. And I believe that is duck. I'm not sure. But the prices here are wonderful. Look at these. Really good prices. Look at this place. Beautiful little decor. Yeah, it's very French. Yeah, very, very French. Oh, and then like a little uh, library. This is the French half style. You guys know this. But what a lot of people don't know is what we consider kitsch, they consider decor. So, check this out. I have the books. And French people are very big readers. Always have been. Magazines. Have a little piano. Have a band in the back, I'm sure. Mmm. <laughs> That's gonna be in my belly very soon. <laughs> So we decided to get the menu. Oh my God, I was just, <laughs> I was vlogging over the candle. My hand was burning. <laughs> <laughs> You're ridiculous. But, uh, all right, so this is our starters. So she had the mozzarella and tomato. Yes. And I've got a uh, delicious onion soup with little croquettes. This should be tasty. Ooh. Oh, uh, 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 oh, oh, it's getting better. <laughs> French bread. <laughs> Merci. All right, so main course. I'm a little jealous right now because she got the roast chicken. Bam! Which I would have got had she not got the roast chicken. Oh, please. You can't have two people with the same Why? thing. That's weird. Uh, That's weird for a video. But I got the pork, and I think it's just a little piece of bacon on top of it. But it looks delicious. But the chips look, meh. What? What are you talking about? These fries look amazing. It's not even like overcooked. Look at no, it. No, I like when they're Cajun. Oh, it's, it's, Burnt, you mean? All right, last one. A little bit of a uh, chocolate and vanilla. Hey, hey, hey! A little chocolate and vanilla. I'm excited. But you got ice cream, right? That's just yes. ice cream. Yes. And then yes. mine's is a chocolate mousse. Um, you guys probably know probably the most famous, uh, the most famous dessert is going to really be creme brulee. But unfortunately, they don't have the little torchy thing for their creme brulee here. So I decided to go with a chocolate mousse because mousse is Frenchish. So close enough. Paris is already a stylish city and a really, really good place to uh, to just kind of be and the people watch. But walking through the Latin Quarter, it's just something special about it. Look at this. It's just a little more vibrant, a little more colorful, uh, a little more multicultural here, and way cheaper. Night. Not significantly so, but like 25% cheaper, give or take. Look at this, and a lot of menus. So, a lot of places have these lunch menus and these specials, which is exactly what we just had. So always take a look. So you'll usually get an entree, a principal plate, uh, or your main dish, and a dessert. So you get something like, I just had like French onion soup, you got duck wings if you want, or a peanut with salmon. And they're like an apple tart. And I have a funny feeling the reason creme brulee is not on there is because it's probably one of the more popular desserts and they can overcharge for it. Hey guys, so we stopped over at Onika's hotel. This place is nice. And this is a, like a parlor, they will call them a parlor, where you used to take your cognac and have a smoke, but they don't usually do smokes anymore. Um, and this is the lobby area. I will show you the room. I like this artwork. This is a little lobby. Around here. This is a little outside-ish area, I think. Oh, like a little garden. And you can see a little bit of the room. That's not creepy at all. All right, cool. So I want to talk to you guys about something that I uh, just kind of popped in my head. Uh, I'm gonna step outside and have this conversation with y'all in private. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so um, as we're coming out of the elevator, 
we see uh, a black woman. And she's dressed up like a maid, like with the whole bonnet thing on her head and everything, the black thing, the like the black. And to me, in my head, it was like a mammy outfit. I was like, why the hell is she wearing a mammy outfit? And then it dawned on me, no, it's a French maid's outfit because she's a French maid. And it was so, for me, um, every time I've come to Paris, I've stayed in more modern uh, hotels. And this is more of a traditional, historically accurate hotel where the maids will be wearing French maids outfits, but I automatically colored it, I automatically colorized it, and I made it a, a race thing. Um, and I think sometimes we do that, uh, and we don't think about the context of an outfit or language or hairstyle or or, or a conversation. So uh, yeah, um, I wouldn't say I was embarrassed, but um, I just kind of realized how silly I was being in my head when I was a little bit offended to see a black maid dressed up as a black maid, like, or as a French maid. Wine French. is, wine is like juicy. Look at this, look at all of this wine. And it's not like just bad wine, like look. And look at the price. You got five, uh, almost 10 euro. But the average price, I'd say the average price for a decent bottle of wine, uh, anywhere in, France, Spain, or Italy, the average price is going to run you around seven or eight euro for a bottle. So just think how much you're paying for some wine. And that's so Nika back there making noise again. Look, look, look at her, huh? That's been creepy. This is so creepy. Where's she at? There you go, man. Uh, this is St. Michael, the devil, on the Fontaine Saint Michel. I'm a little close, guys. Apologies. St. Michael the Angel. Kicking a shot out of the devil. Like, oh, it's the devil. Michael! The devil. <laughs> so, throughout the banks of uh, Paris, you will see these shops. Right here. Right here. And these are shops that have been passed down from generation to generation of Parisians. And it's almost uh, like a privilege, like an honor to actually have one of these stands. And here are some when they're closed. All right. So normally they'll sell older books, uh, they'll sell newspapers, they'll sell little souvenirs. But for the most part, you'll see little things like this, like the books obviously. But you'll see old newspapers, old comic books, old Zorro's and it's a it's an excellent way to kind of look at literature through a French lens and a French history so definitely have a have a stop and just see what they have because it's almost uh, like a seat like a riverside antique shop so guys this is why I'm single I don't do shit like this I said this is why I'm single I don't do shit like this. <laughs> Why are you hating? Girl? I'm trying I hate to get it. my fashion game up. These shoes are dope. These shoes, how your shoes are kind of dope? Hey, hey, yeah, hey, 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 hey. Give me some of these. <laughs> hey guys, so you guys see, I've been hanging out with Onika all day. Hi. And it's good to have a friend who understands you. And she knows damn well I'm not about to shop for shoes and <laughs> leggings and hats with her. So we are about to split up. She's about to go shop. I'm going to do my thing. And I will see you later. Yeah, Thank I guess so I'll see coming. you in another yeah. country. Uh, so, uh, Honestly, this is the best thing about having travel friends. Yeah. You can just meet up with them in random parts of the world. Uh, so, so thank good. you so much <laughs> for meeting me in Paris. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> Hey guys, I just got back to the hotel and I want to take a quick second to actually talk about Onika. So do me a favor, don't tell Onika what I'm about to say about her, okay? So Onika is probably one of the, the humblest, most talented people that I know in this industry. Um, I really don't get along. I'm not really a team player when it comes to bloggers. Um, it's just, it just a lot of people I just don't vibe with. But she's one of those people that for instantly when we met online, just a cool, just a, a great back and forth. Uh, we think alike, uh, we have quite a bit in common. Just a cool, cool, cool person. Not to mention she's extremely talented, 
extremely humble. And honestly, I don't think she knows how great she really is at what she does. So please go over uh, to Nico the Traveler. I'll link all her profiles below in the description and go check out her content. It's wonderful content. And she's a great role model for uh, young women of color who really want to get out there and experience the world. Uh, in a way that's uh, uncurated, really raw and honest. Uh, so definitely go check her out. Amazing day. It's always great to meet up with some friends and explore a new city. Uh, for me, Paris really is a new city because I haven't really enjoyed my previous times here. But uh, getting together with Leah, get, getting together with Onika, uh, with Mui, exploring this, this wonderful and historic city was absolutely amazing. So I'm going to get to editing this vlog, get it uploaded for you guys, and I'll catch you later. But as always, leave the world better than you found it. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and comment below, and I'll catch you guys later.